Papa. Yes, Magla. I have a question. Yes, Magla. Why aren't girls allowed inside temple when they're on their menstruation? Mm -hmm. Is it something bad? No, it's not bad. Who told you this? So your question is why girls are not allowed inside the temple during their menstruation, right? Look, Magla, there are many reasons. People uh, give the answers in own, their own way. But let me speak very scientifically and also in a reality way, okay? See, according to the scientific, what happens during this menstruation time, there will be a lot of flows and there will be a lot of cramps, right? So the girls become really tired. So that is why elders, what they used to do, even my Aji used to say this, why they used to keep them away from uh, cooking and puja and all those rituals? Because they used to give them rest during that five days. Complete five days, they used to take rest so that they are healthy. This is one reality. And also according to our yogic philosophy, what happens, Magle, there are five pranas. Pancha prana, we can. Prana, apana, samana, udana, and vyana. Okay, each prana has different directions. Okay, so prana always moves upwards. Apana moves always downwards. But during this uh, period, what happens? During the menstruation, what happens? The apana vayu is too aggressive. So that is why the apana vayu is moving too much downwards. And in temples, what happens? The prana moves upwards more. So that is why there is imbalance between the apana and the prana. So that is why the girls are not supposed to enter the puja temple according to the yogic system. Okay. But there is nothing wrong if you enter the temple, if you do any kind of puja, there is nothing wrong. Because we always consider the menstruation woman is all, she is completely equal to Mata Bhagavati, goddesses, you know. So that is why it is not taboo at all. It was not wrong at all. Enjoy your menstruation. Okay.